Miss Bell, I've got a visitor. Imagine me finding out through a video on social media that my son knows his real parentage. I see now. Not only that, he's under the impression he's the product of a rape. Where would he get such an idea? Because you and I both know that's a blatant lie. You shouldn't let me fight him. It's the least he deserves after what he's done. You think Miss Bell would have wanted that? You think picking up a GBH charge is going to make this easier for her? You need to get that man out of your mind. People like him don't deserve a millisecond of your thought. Not Ali, not, not Warren. Warren? What's he got to do with any of this? Nothing. Wait, wasn't he arrested for that bluebird thing? Yeah. Yeah, he was. For violating women with intrusive cameras in their homes. Verity. I haven't told a soul, OK? But why? Why didn't you say anything? Because there's nothing anyone can do. Come on. Now you're looking after me and talking me down while you're going through something like this. It's OK. Why am I so clueless when it comes to protecting the women that I love? I mean, the women that I care about. Ali was right. Everything would have been better if he and Mum never met and I never existed. No, look, the way I see it is we can beat ourselves up about where we're from or what we've done, what others have put us through, or, or we can decide we're better than that. You're a good person, Shaq, and you don't deserve to feel worthless or ashamed. Neither of us do. Amazing. Yeah, come back to me ASAP and we'll get this moving straight away. All right, bye. So come on. What happened to the hospital? What they told me yesterday about his hearing being at risk. They confirmed it. They show now that it's permanent. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. I wanted to take him home. But they bullied me into leaving him there, seeing that his condition's too serious and that he needs to rest. So I'm suing him for negligence. Sorry, what? I've just got off the phone to the solicitor. They're gonna pay for what they did to my kid. But what's happened to Henry? Well, it's not their fault. And whose fault is it, Diane? Eh? Mine? Well, maybe it is. Do you know if you'd taken them to the hospital when we first told you about all the symptoms? Or even gone and vaccinated? Instead of thinking that you knew better than the actual doctors, then it might not have got so serious. This proves that I was right about that place all along. Do you know what? I have had enough of you. I have put up with your nonsense for way too long now. And do you know what? I cannot be around it anymore. You had a bad influence on me and my mental health. <laughs> and you even tried to come between me and my husband and you lied about all that. So that's what this is all about, is it? Me and Tony. I want you out. This friendship is over. When our mother died, I got her old computer, found this, printed it out. Auntie Asina, what's that? It's your mother's old diary. It covers the time immediately before and after Shaq was conceived. There's no mention of any misconduct or attack or foul play. Simply a girl who couldn't wait to get her hands on a Dr Ali Shazad. Shaq. Darling. Mum? I know what Miss Be said about how you were brought into the world and about what happened with your biological father. I am urging her to admit that perhaps she got carried away with the details. You think she's lying? I can't believe this. I never lied. I don't mean you. I mean her. You're my mum's sister. You're meant to be on her side. I'm on Shaq's side. Right, that's it. Out. We're not done here. I said out. Sammy, can't you threaten to sue her unless she leaves? Uh, sorry, guys, I need to deal with this. Didn't come here to cause fireworks. 
Shaq, I cannot imagine what Mistress Talltale has done to your self-confidence, self-worth. Being led to believe that you're the product of something so appalling. Come home with me. And we can put all this unpleasantness out of our minds. Miss Blanc is kind, honest, brave. And unlike you, she knows how to look out for her family. I want you to leave. much. It reminds me of my mum. You know, she liked green, open spaces. You know, if she was still alive, she'd be sat on that bench, watching people walk by, giving them advice, even if they didn't want it. <laughs> she was quite the woman. Scott was right. I messed up. And I am sorry. I just need to get used to having a matriarch around again. I don't want you to go. I'd be delighted to stay. <laughs> and best of all, now that you and Felix have sorted things out, I can help with your wedding planning. Oh, unless you've already planned it. No, we haven't. That'd be great. <laughs> Suppose you want to look at that. Truth be told, it's hardly a page turner. <laughs> I wish I could go back. Tell the young woman who wrote this that the secrets she's hiding, they'll only do more damage in the long run. I wouldn't have blamed you, Shaq, if you'd gone back with Hasina. Left all this behind. Not gonna lie. She came to me a bit earlier. Might have been tempted. <laughs> so made me realize that it doesn't matter where I come from. The point is, I'm here. You guys are the only family I need. Well, listen, I gotta go check on a mate. So I'll see you later. Mum, I know I've been distant these last few days, but... Yes, it's okay. I need to say this. It's just... Knowing that my whole life, my mum's been dealing with something so horrific and never said anything. I guess I'm still trying to process it. But I want you to know I'm always here for you. I love you so much. And I think I know how to make things better for everyone. Dear Cohen. Hey, it's um, Verity Hutchinson here. I'm not going to keep you long, but the other day you mentioned I could potentially talk to the others, the other women that were affected by Bluebird. Am I, am I too late to say yes? Of course not. No, I think it would really help. Great. Another favour. Could I get a copy of the footage from the cameras? I'm not going to watch it, but I have an idea of what I could do with it. There you go, darling. Oh, someone's been crying. You crack a smile, I won't kill you. Have you always been an all-out pig? Oh, sorry, um, that's my dad. He's He's got a kind of dementia. He's not exactly got a filter. His sister played that card last time. He was out of order. Right. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. My little boy's in hospital. And I don't know what to believe about his condition. 
I'm just so scared that I'm gonna lose him like I lost his dad. And the one friend that I had has abandoned me, so I'm basically on my own. I know how lonely it can feel, you know, when your loved one's going through it like that. Do you, um, do you want some company? Yes. Come back inside. No, not until you take back your ridiculous idea. Hey, listen, I've got some news. Yeah? Well, you're not the only one. Tell him what you told me. I'm leaving. These last few days have shown me how badly this whole Ali situation has affected my family. That's why I kept it secret in the first place. I'm going to go until it all dies down. No, no, Ms. Bell, you can't leave. I've already booked my train ticket. No, I... I got an email from someone. Someone who saw the video of Ellie and Shaq. Now, I couldn't tell if it was genuine or not, so I had to make a few calls and... Who was it? Her name's Gina. She says she's another victim of Ellie's. Well, you know what this means, right? With your evidence and hers, we can finally have what we need to take Ellie down. You have to stay. Walter! How are you? Mm-hmm. Ah. Focus on taking care of yourself, you hear me? And keeping a good eye on your family. Oh, it's the least I can do for such a dear friend. <laughs> 